will be remembered for more than just the team's success. He made a deep impact on Colorado with his charitable work. He helped change the lives of thousands of children through his work with the Boys and Girls Clubs. Jamie Leary is at a Boys and Girls Club field named after Bolin. And Jamie, this is an organization that was close to his heart. It really was. This field was named in his honor as a tribute to his service to the Boys and Girls Club. Today, it just so happened two former Broncos were in Denver's Montbello neighborhood, uh, where a Boys and Girls Club is that Bolin broke ground on in 2003. It gave them the perfect opportunity to tell the kids that more than anything, Pat Bolin wanted them to succeed. Excited children and their squeaky sneakers file into the gym. CJ, sit down. It's just a little glimpse into a big part of the legacy of Pat Bolin. I grew up in the Boys and Girls Club. This was a place I came every summer. Former Broncos players Rod Smith and Terrell Davis planned to be here to promote a book. They couldn't help but talk to the kids about the man who created the very space they were sitting in. He was really invested in these kids. He was invested in this neighborhood. And um, you, for me, you don't forget stuff like that because it, it reminds me, okay, you're never too big to go give back. You know what I'm saying? It's not really giving back when it's just a part of who you are. And that's what Pat Bowling is. I remember years back when they had a groundbreaking ceremony. Pat Bowling was actually here with a shovel. The former pros recall Bowling was never one to take credit, but always one to take care of them and his community. I don't think there's enough adjectives to describe how great of a man Pat Bowling truly was. And that's to me, that's the biggest testament about anybody. Forget, you know, whether they're a good player or a good owner, how good of a person are they? And Pat Bolin was the best. It's Bolin's attitude and work outside of the Broncos they hope these kids learn from. I just want those kids to remember that this guy was a part of their life, you know, and we might not ever get to see him again in the physical, but his work is always here. They told the kids it was a time to celebrate his legacy, not be sad. And that's exactly what they did. And the player is clearly working hard to continue his legacy of service. Now, Bolin may not have wanted the recognition, but it's because of him that the Broncos are the only professional team in the nation to fully fund a Boys and Girls Club. It was clearly near and dear to his heart. Live in Commerce City, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. A very special place. Thank you, Jamie. The Broncos and Bolin family will host a public tribute for Pat Bolin on Tuesday at Mile High Stadium. It'll be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the club level and will include memorabilia from his ownership as well as pictures and videos celebrating Mr. B's life.